you what I do. You know, I hike and I walk and I travel and I'm outside and then I make art. So I can't really identify what the pieces are about often. Sometimes I can't. This red piece just was there. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make it. And I have had a lot of people, not just here, but tell me, why don't you hang it on you? But this is the way I saw it. And I started actually working with recycled materials very seriously. Uh, Right after my, well, my daughter was in uh, preschool, and the preschool teachers asked us to start to gather toilet paper rolls. Mm. And it turned out I was an incredibly good scavenger. <laughs> <laughs> I collected more toilet paper rolls than anybody else, and more than they could use. They sat in my studio for five years, and one day I just started playing with the pieces. And I kind of got excited. I went out into the backyard and I found a pyracantha branch. And it just soared. And I put it up on a pedestal, and um, it looked like it was dancing. So I call it dancing as, as fast, you know, what do I call it? <laughs> Legacy. <laughs> Legacy. Yeah, but I think of it also as, as kind of dancing. And in this piece, both of the pieces, you might want to think of things that contain or nurture or um, kind of like a cornucopia or something that is unearthed out of the ground, like in Pompeii, you see these vessels. Um, for the last 20 years, I've been making casts and fabricated metal. Um, I do every process myself, so when I say I cast it myself, I literally pour the metal myself. I'm very familiar with um, all of that. This piece, the one in the back, which is all paper, I've been making paper for probably 25 years, maybe longer. And I'm always kind of denying the medium, like saying, well, I don't make paper. And <laughs> You know, it's not. And then I thought, no, it's not true. I really love making paper. So I did a whole series of similar pieces, and they're just about paper. These pieces were actually made with the idea that I actually wanted to be able to make bigger and bigger things without having the problem of storing big things mm -hmm. and without having the problem of carrying big things. <laughs> so these are actually kind of, they're in my mind prototypes because they could be bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and I can still just make them out of little tiny things that can be hooked together. This one is made out of little tiny trees that have died in the forest. So each one of those is a tree. They turn black when they don't get enough uh, oxygen or sun or something. So they were all dead when I collected them. And to me, both symbolize your journey through life. I think many cultures, um, do that, Egyptians, and just everybody. But so the, the pieces are definitely uh, about unearthing and containment and nurturing, but you know, every single one of us is a vessel. Your houses are vessels, you know, so there's this way in which I continue that uh, cycle in my head, that correspondence and that vocabulary in my mind is what I use. Next. <laughs>